We've got the P365 XL rail. We're gonna do a quick install video for you guys. First off, we wanna talk about compatibility. The XL, the XL rail is specifically designed for the XL slide. So if you have the XL slide and the SAS frame, get the XL rail. If you have the XL rail slide and the standard frame, get the XL rail. As long as you have the XL slide, this XL rail is designed to sit flush with it no matter what frame, compatible with all of them, SAS, standard, XL. Boom, that's done. If you don't have the XL slide, we make the standard rail. Grab that rail, it's good, but if you have the XL slide, the XL rail will give you more light options. And those light options are available in the description on the product page. The holster options, the holster companies making compatible rail, compatible holsters with the rail and the light are in the description also of the product page, not of this YouTube video. YouTube hates gun stuff, so we just put it on our website. Boom, let's get into the install, guys. All right, guys, we've got our bag of small parts here opened up. We've got the main bag of our rail pieces out. We're gonna go ahead and compare the difference real quick. You see one of them has the tongue, one has the groove. We're gonna take the piece with the tongue, get that one ready. Start All right, guys, on. jumping in here real quick. We had a small update to the installation video, so I'm gonna cut it in right here. The nuts are now already seated. We had a, a number of complaints that people had a hard time seating them and skip that nut installation process and just put it on your gun and put the uh, bolts in. Boom! One of the little bolt, little nuts here. Just ever so slightly thread on a nut. Line that up with this piece to where we can use that screw and that half partially threaded nut to just push it into the cavity that it sits in. And depending on your rail, depending on the polymer shrinking and temperature and all that, it might be harder or very loose and want to fall out. <clears throat> Sorry. So doing the, doing the same thing again for the second nut up front. Put that in, you see we've got it in there, it's seated all the way. Unthread it without it pulling out. See it pulled out a little bit. Man, so many innuendos in this video. I'm gonna try not to say anything. All right, and so we've got those two seated in there. I always wanna keep this side facing up. I don't want those to fall out. So to do that, I'm going to set everything up to where they can just stay up. I can set that on there. I can go ahead and I can grab this uh, the groove piece and go ahead and set it up, set it right up to that rail. And so there we go, we've got these nuts still facing up. I'm gonna grab one of those bolts and line it up. It's a little tricky and it's even trickier for me. I'm trying to look through the camera and I'm just gonna start with that Allen key, that 1.5 millimeter or 1.6 M Allen key gonna start threading that until you see the thread engage that nut so you can see that thread kind of just started to engage it so it's it's good didn't tighten it down or anything I just made sure it was tight enough that it wouldn't fall fall out same at the front gonna thread that in so if you can do this install over a hard surface, it's way better because you drop those little uh, uh, nuts. They are so tiny. Okay, we see that one. It is also starting to engage. And then that's when I turn it over. I watch that little gap. It's it's tight. Watch the, watch the little gap there. It's flush. I can feel it getting tight. It's really finger tight. I don't even turn it. I don't even turn the Allen key this way. Just finger tight, guys. Finger tight, and that's good. You won't notice any movement. The only movement you'll see is the entire frame will flex. Not the rail. The rail won't move off the frame, but the entire frame will flex. And that's how you install the tactical application rail on the P365 and the P365 XL. So again, this will fit on any frame standard frame, SAS frame, or XL frame, but it, the XL one is designed to be flush with the XL slide. So if you have an XL slide, grab the XL frame, you'll fit way more lights. 
sorry. If you have the XL slide, grab the XL rail because it'll fit way more lights because there are more rails up front. All right, guys.